Hey, uh, when, when I was a little boy, I was exposed to the teachings of the Talmud and the Old Testament. My father, being a rabbi, coming from a long line of rabbis, became very disgruntled by the time I was about eight because I tended to disagree with a lot of stuff that was written in those books. And then I got to this point where I just didn't believe in a specific God, an anthropomorphic deity. And I announced this to my father, uh, not pleased. Then of course, I got the negative reaction, not only from my father, but the community in which we lived. So the negative, result of what I was thinking was pretty bad. That drove me to start studying philosophy. And I had to critically think about like all these different philosophers and all the different things they thought. And so I learned to critically think and I learned about a lot of things about what people think. And I started to develop my idea of what is fact and what could be part of truth. And I continued that throughout my whole life, but I developed a problem. You see, when I hear somebody say something that is not true, it aggravates me. And when I hear someone say something that is not logical, with the exception of creativity, I mean, of course, that's a whole other thing, art, art, but when somebody's not logical and trying to discuss ontology and epistemology and metaphysics, and they're just off, it doesn't have to do with opinion. They're just off. I get really mad and I want to like attack them. It's a terrible feeling. But you know, that's how it is, man. Okay.